So I thought, hey, I should make another video about Windows 8.1. But then I remembered that Microsoft has stopped security updates for this great operating system. Although I used to think and say that Windows 8.1 should be installed on all the devices, because despite no security updates, you can use an antivirus. You know what? It's actually not true. No antivirus can fully replace security updates. Believe it or not, but I was also unpleasantly surprised when I realized it. Simply to understand, Windows 8.1 can be an easy target for hackers if you use it as a daily OS. By the way, as of January 1st, 2024, Steam will officially stop supporting Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7 as well. As you can see, gaming will also be quite problematic if you use Steam. To be honest, it's hard to watch how Microsoft on purpose destroying their operating system, such as Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and soon it will be Windows 10. Maybe this is speculation, but in my opinion, all this is related to money. Microsoft likes money. Just think for yourself. To install Windows 11, your processor must be at least of a generation. Although we all know very well that there are many more powerful processors, for example, of 6th generation. I mean, even of 5th generation, there are many powerful CPUs. The bottom line is that you need to buy a new laptop or PC, whether you like it or not. Unfortunately, that's how everything works. I personally have nothing against buying a new laptop or PC. Don't get me wrong. My only problem is why I have to do this just to install Windows 11 or Windows 12. And finally, let's go back to Windows 8.1. Despite we will no longer get security updates, I still like this operating system because it is the best for older devices, especially if you have an old HDD drive. Let's get it straight. It's not a complete disaster to use this OS. You just need to understand that it will not be as secure as the newer versions of Windows. Although, to be fair, Windows 11 is hacked quite often. That is, there is no completely safe operating system either. However, you still can download Windows 8.1 ISO from the Microsoft official website. Moreover, all other features and functions work properly. So, if it's so bad, why Microsoft allow us to use it? This question is not for me. In the end, it's up to you. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video about secrets behind Windows 12 release.